My name is Michał Grigerzec and I work for Infusion as a consultant. Um, and this presentation, this lightning talk is about the great JavaScript library, which I discovered recently. Uh, and uh, I will describe it to you, how it, um, what is it. And I will show you some basic functional programming concepts, by the way. Um, and uh, my goal is to provoke some discussion and to, uh, above all, inspire you to dive deeper into the topic. Um, so before we start, I'd like to ask you, uh, who has heard about Ramda already or who has been using Ramda.js? Okay, oh, nice. And uh, who writes JavaScript code in a functional manner on a regular basis? Maybe, okay, that's great. So let's start. What is Ramda.js? Its creators describe it as a practical functional library for JavaScript programmers. And uh, what goals Ramda tries to achieve? I think it tries to help you to write cleaner and more elegant code, to emphasize purer functional style. It strives for performance. However, it brings forward good, good implementation over purity and it avoids any external dependencies. You write in native JavaScript using JavaScript, uh, JavaScript objects and arrays. So we'll discuss following features uh, from the JS and functional programming concepts also. Higher order functions, function first data last API, auto carrying, function composition, and last but not least immutability. So let's see Ramda.js in action. Higher order functions. Uh, they are basically functions that either take another function as the input or return a function as the output. Uh, as simple as that. Uh, here we have code snippet and we can see that Ramda map function takes another function as the input. It's an example of higher order function. Uh, probably you've noticed the capital R letter. It's exactly like um, it's Ramda instance, exactly like jQuery dollar sign. So function first data last API. The idea is really simple. However, the devil is in the detail, right? Uh, we can, here we, we, we can see the very simple add function and we can split reduce function call into three pieces. Of course, our operation, how do we want to process our data, which go last. And function first means we pass all necessary parameters in the first place. And at the, at the end, we pass the data, always. Uh, you will see that pattern in all Ramda functions. Why is that important? The answer is because of carrying. And what is carrying actually? It's a functional programming concept when you take mm, function with multiple arguments and transform it to the function which accepts only one argument and returns another function which accepts argument and returns the function and so on until we pass all necessary parameters and finally obtain the result. Uh, did I mention that all Ramda functions are automatically carried for us? And that's great. And great companion for carrying is function composition. You can think of functions as Lego bricks. If we can convert all functions to unary functions, and you guessed it, using carrying, uh, then magical things can happen. We can create really complex systems with reusable chunks of logic, which is awesome. <clears throat> Whoops. Uh, and the composition is really about taking, out, taking output of the first function that is applied to data and sending it to the next function. Show me the magic. We have array of fruits and we want to know the name of the first fruit in the list. Ha, piece of Ramda cake. We compose head function and then carry it property function which returns name value. Et voila, here's the result. Uh, if you're not used to read code from right to left, you can use pipe function as well. And our last stop is immutability. Uh, how many times you found a bug uh, where some function was mutating data being used by another function in completely different part of the code? accidentally. That's exactly what we're trying to avoid in functional programming. And the good news is all Ramda.js functions are immutable by design. 
So, to, so to sum up, what are benefits of using Ramda.js and functional programming concepts? Thanks to higher order functions, we reduce boilerplate. We have simpler and more elegant code. We stick to don't repeat yourself rule thanks to better code reuse. And we improve modularization and logic encapsulation. Finally, we achieve better software robustness by reason of immutability. You will find all sources which were inspiration for this talk in the Wave Forward blog post, which will appear soon. Stay tuned. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to come to me during the break. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Have fun with Ramda.js and thank you. <laughs> <laughs>